I was using this gimbal for about two weeks here in Cappadocia and we got a lot of shots as you can see in this video. I've been using a lot of gimbals in the past. My main gimbal was Zine Crane 2 and also Feiyu Tech AK3000. I really like Zine Crane 2 over AK3000, but now coming from those two gimbals, here are my thoughts. So the first thing that I really like about this gimbal is how compact it is. You can literally pack it in a small package like this, throw it in your backpack, and that's it. That is your gimbal. You don't have any big body that moves around and wiggles around. About wiggling, I like the locks in here. Then you can just unlock and now you have your axes unlock go ahead and set up your gimbal just like that and if you want to lock them back it's super easy you just turn it in the position you want push this and it locks to this compact position like this and now it's not moving the build quality is very solid like you can tell it's a high-end product well just like Zan Crane 2 as I had that gimbal for probably like two years and it would just like scratch up but overall it would be good so I would say that this is just a little bit more better quality because I don't see any scratches on this one compared to Zan Crane 2 my Crane 2 would scratch a lot as the camera would let's say hit the body this one would not have those scratches also I really like this design so there is like a little lock in here that you can twist and then you can turn the body of the gimbal like this. If you want to shoot like this, you can have it straight and you're ready to go. You can just slap the camera on it and you go. You can set up the camera any way you want. So let me show you how you can set this up real quick. So it comes with this tripod. You mount it here, just like any other gimbal. I have R5 with a 16 to 35, so it's pretty heavy body and it had no issues with it if you balance it right. So it's really important to balance it right. If you don't, it might go weird it's really comfortable because I can let's say use the gimbal and then I can use the same mount when I use my Joby or any Manfrotto tripod so it's really convenient so it slides in just like that so there are these little, little sliders and I would just move the camera to the to the position that it doesn't move and it looks balanced to me and you make sure that your axes are unlocked because sometimes it happened a lot to me when they accidentally would lock and I would not know that one of the axes are locked and the gimbal would act weird, so you gotta double check. And the gimbal is ready. <laughs> I didn't have this locked, so you gotta make sure this is locked. And the gimbal is ready to go. So as you can see, it's perfectly balanced. You can go any direction. You can also flip it upside down, just like in Zine Crane 2. It's just a different direction, so it's like that, and it flips upside down. So that's kind of like a weird issue that I don't like about this gimbal. As you can see, when I flipped it, the handle turned the other way so I would expect it to go this way but then it goes like that so it's kind of weird also sometimes when I would go quick and do like this kind of movement my Zion crane 2 would kind of go as an extension of my hand and it would be like perfectly point in the same direction but this one kind of has like a lag but then I would have a hard time sometimes to perfectly point it later the same direction another thing that I actually liked on my old design crane 2 gimbal when I would use my old gimbal I could just let's say move the camera like that and it would stay there 
So this one has this push mode that is supposed to do the same thing, but sometimes it just doesn't. I don't know, it's just weird. So let's say if I would put it up, I have to like hold it for some time for it to let it stay like that. My Zen Crane 2 would just like stay there in a second. So let's say I push it like that, it stays there. I go like that, it stays there. I go like this, it stays there. This one doesn't. Otherwise you have to use the joystick, which is more responsive than the Zen Crane 2 and I like it more, but that's just something that I wouldn't use all the time. I like to just, let's say, when I shoot, I want to make sure I can just push the camera this way and it stays there. Other than that, I don't really have other issues with this gimbal. And I really like the design, as I said, let's say, if I want to go under, I can just push this down, lock it, and let's say I can use two hands and just shoot it like that. And then it's just like this, very simple, and it's really easy to hold. And then, even better, you can do this, unscrew the tripod, and screw it here, which is really cool, because now you can just hold it from here. Super comfortable, but as you can see now, for some reason, why am I holding the gimbal here, but the camera is there? It's just really weird. My Zion Crane 2 would never do it. That's just a peace of mind for you guys when you're picking this gimbal. Overall, it's really great, but like I've been having these little issues, which kind of bothers me, because now it's twisted, and let's say if I want to push it back, now you have to hold it and then it stays there. Or you can just use the joystick to go left, right, up and down. And that kind of stops me from shooting content because let's say if I want to get something quick and now it's pointing that way. I'm not going to dive in real deep on the modes on this gimbal. It's just like any other Ronin gimbal where you can have it regular PF mode, vortex mode. It also has portrait mode where you can have the camera vertical, which is really cool. If you shoot a lot of Instagram content or stories, you can just have it vertical. And that's really cool because you don't have to get any extra L mount plate to have it mounted vertical which a lot of older gimbals doesn't have. Alright that's it for me, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it's gonna help you to make a decision about purchasing this or any other gimbal. If you like this video give it a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe. Also I'm gonna include a link <laughs> with this gimbal under the description so if you would like to purchase it go ahead and do it because it's gonna give me a small commission so you're gonna help a small creator like me so I can create more videos and just create content on the regular. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's it for me. Thank you. Bye! Blah 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 bl